Right, so this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and as well a Aries Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading May 25th to uh, May 31st, 2020. And uh, my God, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. So with that being set aside, moving uh, to the general reading of uh, your week Aries. Now the first card is going to be the death card and that uh, serves as the topic and the theme of your week. Followed by the energies which stands as the Seven of Cups here. Those are the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic, followed by the challenges that you have to overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the Four of uh, the four of Swords. So the energies are the Seven of Cups. Moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy. And that will be the Four of Wands. Afterwards, we do have the five of wands, which stands as the impression that you are leaving into the people around. And the last one here, which represents the guidance that Tarot is offering. We do have the four of cups. So without a doubt, for you Aries, we are talking about a stir that takes place. And that it's not just a normal stir into one's life, but that is like a upgrading your life. It is like jumping into the next level. So what happens here into the, uh, into the week itself, based on those two main cards, which are the energies and the topic, it seems that, um, well, your hopes uh, are to prove themselves true, meaning that you had something in house, okay? Uh, and now, uh, this week, it will become completely achievable. However, in order for you to achieve your hope, one way or another you will have to let go of certain stuff i mean you are to understand that there are going to be that there are aspects i'm sorry into either your behavior your hobbies your routine your relationship your career you name it that are in flux and they need to let to to they, they simply need to go so you can have a free a free space a free room for your hope to to dwell in it and to plant seeds and eventually grow because what we're talking about here what is going to plant seeds throughout this week it's a uh, uh how can i say it has its long term of development in a sense of that you can't expect results throughout the week itself but probably in a couple of months maybe in two years as well okay so we are really talking here about a, a a brand new chapter into one's life. It's not a new, a new book, but it is a, a new chapter into one's life that will start writing itself or scoring itself or you name it. Um, that being said, just to give you an example of how that thing could play out, say you are in a just a relationship, you are dating with someone, right? and you're in that carefree type of um, interactions with this person and you do hope that you get engaged right uh, but you don't see how this is to happen up until this point while that person throughout this week clearly makes a point what needs to be accomplished so you can get engaged and therefore you will have to let go of certain things so you can fit with the criteria of getting engaged but definitely that opens up a new chapter into your life. Same thing could play out into your career, you know, in regards to chasing a promotion. Same thing could happen into your social circle, looking for a job and etc. etc. The point here is that you are going to have your cue, right? You're going to have your green light, but it doesn't come without any conditions and, uh, and without any requirements. You will have to accomplish those requirements should you want your dream to become reality moving into the distant future once again you can't ex you cannot expect results to happen overnight another thing uh with the, these two cards they are very positive in a sense of that uh you do have a room of error okay nobody expects you to be perfect nobody 
um, anticipates that you are going to perform flawlessly without any objection whatsoever. And that's why those around you, not just only those around you, but the situation that you, the situations that you are involved in as well, are going to be quite generous and will allow you to pretty much bounce back if you do something wrong or you end up disappointed and try it again. Moving to the next card here, it will be the challenge that you will have to overcome. That is the challenge of the Four of Swords and that is the challenge to listen. Okay, You just need to listen what you have been told. Because with the first couple of cards, as we said, your success, more or less, whether you like it or not, it does depend on the approval of somebody or something else as well. And you need to listen to the criterias. Now, if you take your time to talk with, say, that person that you want to be with, if you are following the example, and you carefully uh, how can i say uh, carefully listen to what they have to say you're not going to find it unreasonable as a matter of fact it will be the only logical follow-up to the current situation that you do have so what the card points it is that instead of outbursting and instead of uh, stumbling with your with your foot on the ground like a little child does uh, it's best through a, a rather quite profound conversations and analysis with those that are faithful companions of yours and those that you find important for your life if should those um, argu not arguments but conversations takes place definitely a common ground can be uh, can be achieved so here the challenge for you is not to be reckless if you will but rather you know to take under consideration not just only under consideration but also as a uh, as a mantra or as a mandatory you know what the com the the uh, cumulative expectations of you are and what's uh, the um, global expectations if you are I don't know how to say it it is like the um, yeah it's the cumulative expectations of um, or the collective was the word that I was searching for oh my god so the collective expectations uh, of you are and you can definitely find your peace with it uh, another thing uh, with the four of uh, swords it is that uh, you should not bring up an old matters on the uh, on the plate here so probably you do have some previous problems with that person or with that situation that are not taking place at that point you should not bring them up once again uh, moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings for you, and that is to be the four of uh, ones. So it's quite conditional card. You are to enjoy the successful fun finalization of a cycle of growth. Once again, only if you do recognize what is in flux in your life and you are willing to let go of it. Okay, then the gift the gift comes to you, and that is the gift of a successful transition or rather like like said successful finalization of one thing and then you jump to the next one that it is born from the first one such as a uh, engagement is born of a relationship marriage is born from an engagement a child is born from a marriage you know or a promotion is born from a hard work and so on and so forth a, a work is born from education and so you move to that thing that has been born from uh, your previous hardship and from your previous uh, toils. And you definitely will have a, uh, a reason to celebrate here. So uh, how uh, does the people are gonna look at you? What kind of impression you're gonna leave into the people around? That is going to be the impression of the five of uh, ones. It's a pretty good one though, because uh, five of ones here points that people are gonna see you as a quite an enterprising person, individual, if you will, someone who it does not scare away from a challenge or from a an opportunity is always willing to try out knowing that regardless of how desperate things look like there there always could be a, a an ace to play there is always could be uh, a a round turn to be taken advantage of so th that being said people want to see you quite courageous and people want to see you as a someone who they can truly bet their hope at okay at that particular point not to mention that people are going to see you as a, a very um unyielding i don't know how to say it in a sense of that you do not give up you, you just simply don't give up you push as much as you can willing to do whatever it takes to get to the uh to the final line 
And the last card that we do have for you, Aries, is going to be the guidance that Tarot is offering, and that is the Four of Cups. And it's, it, it kind of relates so much to the situation itself. I mean, can you see all the things that you have been stuck up here with? Okay, all the all the noxious habits, noxious behavior, stubbornness, and all these kind of stuff. Uh, well, you have to let go of them because otherwise you cannot see the new chapter that is offered to you here by this cup, by this cloud or the hand that comes from the cloud offering you the cup out there. So you need to have a, an acute mental strength here, very well uh, display logic and to be able to recognize what serve you a purpose and what does not and that these things, these aspects of your life that does not serve their purpose any longer in there and they're always uh, only holding you back like for example being stubborn not to call the person you love just because you are stubborn you know that is something that holds you back um they need to be uh history and you have to readopt a new ways that are to be pretty clear to you throughout the week uh, and those new ways are going to open like i said a new chapter in your life so that being said, Aries, this was your weekly general tarot reading, May 25th to May 31st, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a private reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. With that being said, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.